Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to try to do a little bit more of like a chit chat, get ready with me, but using and featuring makeup that I have recently purchased from Target. Now, I know that the, it's pretty normal for most people to shop at Target and to get makeup there and to get groceries and go there and for one thing and then come across and then come out leaving with like three bags full. Well, there's actually not a Target anywhere near me. It'll take me a good half hour in a direction that I never go to get to a Target, but I recently did some traveling for work and there was a Target nearby, so I went and I was like, you know what? Let's do a video on Target makeup. Like makeup that you can mostly, mostly, only find at Target. Now some of it, I mean granted you can get a lot of it at Ulta, you can get some of it at Sephora, I think you can get one of the brands there. Um, but it's not something that you're going to find in your Walmart and your Rite Aids and your Walgreens, CVS's, those types of drugstore makeup items. So they're not ones that I have really tried a lot of. So I really thought, I'd, hey, let's just have a little chat and sit down and let's try out some new makeup from a place where I don't normally go, which makes me the weirdo in the room. I'm aware. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. We're going to get into my little haul. I'll tell you what I got and then we'll try things out, have a little talk. But before I do, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that button, that little red button right below. And of course, make sure you hit the notification bell. Hopefully it works. We all know that YouTube is having some issues with the notification bell. But go ahead and click it anyway, just in case. Again, more new products to try out that I was going to try out before this video. But I really, really didn't want to wait to try out some of these products. So I was like, I'll put some of those on hold and we'll do this one. Let's go ahead and show you what I got here. So here's the bag. Now I will say I got a good amount of stuff, but I didn't really want to go crazy. I just didn't want to because a lot of stuff that there are things and I did end up buying some things that I know you can buy at a CVS or drugstore kind of thing. But you know, just go with it. I know I didn't get everything, but I do have some other things I'll just pop on for you guys that I haven't tried in a while. So we'll just kind of do it like that. You see what I'm saying? I did get a new foundation and this one looked really intriguing. It is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. Now it does say it's new here on the packaging. I don't know how much. It is a radiant finish, so it'll be a little bit dewier. Medium coverage and it does have SPF 15. That's the foundation I got. Now I also did get a concealer on the complete opposite end, the number seven is a little bit more expensive. It's kind of like a good in between, like the super high end versus just drugstore. Um, and this is just plain drugstore. This is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And this is it. And by the way, I got shade Cool Ivory in this one. We'll see if it works. And then I got shade Porcelain in this one because I'm getting tanner. We're getting there. I'm still pretty pale. For setting powder, I did get the CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder here. It's just, um, it's in Translucent Fair number 105, so we'll try that guy out. I kinda already used it just to test it out, but I did get this sponge, which is from Sonia Kashuk. I used to be able to buy Sonia Kashuk makeup. Like, I have a foundation back here somewhere from her, but every time I go there now, well, every time, like the one time I went, and I looked online and I can't find makeup from her anymore. I saw all the brushes and the sponges. So I don't know, did she stop making like makeup items and just go to the beauty tools? If you guys know, let me know down in the comment section. I'm kind of curious, but anyway, for bronzer, I also got that from NYX. This is the matte bronzer in shade medium. So for eyeliner, it, I did get the super cat eyeliner from soap and glory, which is really cool that they have this brand and um, Target. I know you can buy them at Ulta, but I don't know. I was kind of intrigued. I was glad that they had that. So also from Soap and Glory, I did get the Perfect 10 Limited Edition 10 Shade Shadow Palette. Looks like this. The packaging was really cute. And the plastic out later when I show you, but you do get a nice kind of nude set. There's some shimmer, some mattes in here. So 
I wanted to try that one out. For blush, I, this is another one that you can buy pretty much anywhere, but I just really liked the color. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I just really like this bright peachy tone. For mascara, I also got the number seven Stay Perfect Long Lasting Volume Mascara here. Of course, in black, because I don't do colored mascaras. I think I bought a brown one once by accident. I also got a nail polish, which I'm wearing right now because I didn't want to wait to use that one. It was this really pretty, like, pink metallic -y shade, and normally I go for dark colors, so I was like, all right, branching out of my comfort zone, wearing a normal color. <laughs> and the last thing I got was the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip in the shade Really Rose. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prep my face because I get a moisturizer, really any skincare items. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize and clean up my face. I'm going to go ahead and use a primer that you can also find at Target that I haven't used in a long time that I want to try out again. Just to remind myself that I like it, that I didn't because honestly I don't remember. And so I'm going to try the Almay Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer. I think this one has pretty good reviews so maybe I liked it. I don't know. I'm going to go clean up, apply that primer and we'll be back to just hang out. And I'm back. So face need a little rinse too so I cleaned my, <laughs> washed my face, put some moisturizer on and put on some primer. And again, just to recap and remind you guys, for foundation I am using the number no. 7 Lift Illuminate Triple Action Foundation. Um, and this is in the shade Cool Ivory. Oh, that's cute. So that's the bottle right here. So it's a really nice bottle actually. It's really pretty. Um, and by the way, this does say it's suitable for sensitive skin. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've mentioned it a couple times. I have really pretty sensitive skin, so I really like that, that it specifically says that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take the top off. It does have a pump here, and apply some directly to my sponge, and I use that on my face. Okay, so I put about like two pumps on here. I probably put a little too much, but. So as I apply this, let me ask you, let me, or let me, I'm like, oh yeah, that's way too much. Let me like pre-apologize to you guys because if I'm like rubbing my nose a lot, and kind of like itching my face, my allergies have been so bad this past week. Does anybody else deal with that? Like, what do you guys take if you do? Because I take Flonase and it helps a little bit. It's not enough to like make the allergies like, not something I have to worry about. I still absolutely do. It's pretty bad. Um, and I've been like so itchy this past week. Like it's been raining right now. It's not really raining, raining. It's like drizzling. And it's just enough to bring all of the bukus of pollen that's in the air and on the ground up to the surface for people like me to smell and have issues with. So if you guys have to deal with allergies too, let me know. And let me know what you use that works. So I really like this sponge. It's really pretty dense. And it's applying it very smoothly. It just feels very soft. So I do really like the sponge. The foundation is definitely medium coverage as it says. It is definitely also having a very luminous kind of moment here. Sorry, I know that was like weird, but I'm trying to like move around in the light, so. Excuse my like weirdness there for a second. Um, but it looks really nice on the skin. It feels really nice in light. It doesn't look bad on my skin at all. But it is definitely kind of a light medium coverage. It's a pretty good color, so almost maybe a little bit light, which for me is like, there's a little color that's lighter than me. It's so exciting. <sighs> Although I will say I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, I think. This might be my last year in Maine. I don't really know. It's something that we are thinking about is moving. We just don't really know where we want to move. We know we want it to be more south and we want it to be a coastal state because we've always been on a coastal state. You know, first it was Texas and then of course here in Maine. Um, so we know we want to be able to have access to an ocean, but we don't really know where we want to go or when. We just got the winners here as you guys can imagine, are just so awful and I can't, I can't anymore <laughs> with them. Uh, I can't deal with getting like, going to work and it being dark out and then coming home and it's dark out. 
Okay, so now that that's all blended, again, I really do like it. It looks really nice on my skin, looks really smooth on my skin, it does not look cakey or anything, and it looks pretty natural, but still has a good amount of coverage. And I like the kind of luminous, um, radiant glow you get from it for summertime. That match matched with the luminous um, primer. I'm liking it. I like the way it looks on my skin. So we're gonna test out this concealer, which I'm already a little like, oh God, it's, I don't know. I'm like having to go in multiple times and I really don't use that much concealer you guys I really don't but like I'm having to go through a lot and it's already a little streaky on the applicator so I don't know but yeah so as I well I miss out we don't know where I just can't deal with the winter here anymore it's so bad and I, it like seriously if you guys haven't ever experienced that if you haven't really been in a northern state like that where where the nighttime does that, you actually get depressed. And coming from Texas, where if you guys don't know, I'm actually a Texan at heart, born and raised, lived there the majority of life. I've only been in Maine about four years now. It's really hard when you go from a state that sees sun, you know, all, literally all day. I mean, and then sees it from early in the morning and it doesn't set till 8.30 or 7.30 in the winter. And then you get it, the sun, most of the year and it's nice and warm out. Going from that to this was actually really, really hard. So this blended actually okay, but there's like no coverage. <laughs> there's not a lot of coverage. It did a nice job like highlighting my face, but that's like all it did. It did not like provide me like any coverage so I think it was like four dollars for concealer by the way the foundation was also $15.99 so still not bad for a nicer foundation that I'm like yeah I like it so far we'll see and the sponge was only seven dollars so to try to keep that from, from grazing I'm gonna go in with the covergirl clean professional powder here Ooh, puff thing that I just threw at my face now it does say, I'm kind of curious because I never use these things. It says to put it like facing down and then put the top over and then shake underneath. I just kind of want to try that. Obviously, because I did it. I wanted to try it. Not much came out, just a little bit here. Let's play it like this. I think I'm going to go back to my original way, but let's try it. I don't know if you guys, if you've been following me long enough or if you even saw the video. And that was way too much, oh my gosh. I did a review on one of the, I did like a dupe video year, like a, a year ago probably, because I've been doing this year now, which is crazy. One of the things that was supposed to be a dupe for a more high-end, I can't even remember which one it was. I think it might've even been like Hula. Bronzer was this CoverGirl one and it just was so potent. Gosh, this smell was so strong of this like floral scent. I just couldn't deal with it because it was so strong. Like the, the bronzer, the makeup was really pretty, but I could not handle the smell. This is kind of like that. It's, it's bothering me a little bit. It's not as potent. So I'm hoping it'll just kind of waft away and I won't have to deal with that smell but it reminds me almost exactly of the way of that smell so I'm sure it was this whole thing with them for a while but I'm not digging it. I also went ahead and primed my eyes and kind of put some powder over them to help that set. I didn't use a new primer so that's why I didn't bother you know filming it but I'm gonna go ahead and obviously dust away the bake here and kind of powder up the rest of my face. I do like the way that the powder performed. It looks really nice and just kind of natural and neutral on my, my skin. It kind of melted in really nicely. I just don't know about that smell. Oh my goodness, that was, oh, it's potent. So let's go ahead and try out this, this bronzer. Again, this is in the shade medium and it is the NYX Matte Bronzer. I actually thought the packaging was really cute in this box, although I'm struggling as always to get it open. Does anybody else like still feel like a child sometimes with scissors? Like still almost a little afraid that you're gonna cut yourself doing that stuff? Every time I open like a box, and I use scissors or a box opener, like a box cutter, I'm still like a little bit worried here. Okay, let's try this guy out. Okay, that's not bad, that's not a bad shade. It's actually really pretty pigmented too, so you don't need just like a lot. 
it is, I mean, I think this was, I don't remember how much this was. I don't have that receipt on me. I don't even know why I just did that one. Um, this one is getting some kickback in the pan, so it's a little dusty, but it's not bad. It is really pretty pigmented too, so that's nice. Yeah, when I first wanted to do this video, I was like, mm, do I just want to do like a few of them and just test them out? Do I really want to kind of spend the money and try out more products? Do I just, like, do I really just want to test some products out and just chat with the folks? You know, but how do I really want to do this? I just knew I wanted to test out some of these new products. So when I went in the first time also, I, so I was in Vermont to do my training with this meeting for work, which is why I had to go. Um, and travel where they had this this target um it was like there was like a torrential downpour like in texas on the coast you get hurricanes like it's not and i've been through them i mean it's not like unusual i mean it's unusual but it's not like something that really throws me for a loop like it you know would if i had never been through some of those but this was like a torrential downpour so i was like so not only was I kind of like, oh, do I, how do I really want to do this video? I was also thinking, mm, how long do I want to spend in this Target? Because it is like nasty outside. I don't really know where I'm going. I was in a rental car where I don't know how to, I'm sorry, see, I told you allergies, um, where I don't really know how to like use the windshield wipers. I know this sounds weird, but you know, they all, they're a little different. And so I was like, mm, let's just grab some things and we'll think about it and we'll come back, which is what I did. So I had two separate receipts. I had put everything together in one bag. But um, yeah, I don't have the other receipt on me. So, okay, I really like this bronzer. I had to kind of work a little bit more to get it blended in, but it looks really nice and natural to my skin. It just, I mean, I know I keep looking at my monitor. I'm sorry, I'm just looking myself, you know. Um, but it looks really nice and natural on my skin. It did blend nicely. It just took a little extra effort to do it, but that could be the foundation too. I, you know, I don't know. But overall, it does look really nice and just kind of gives me a nice, warm, natural glow. So this, for as inexpensive it is, okay. So again, this is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I just thought it was such a pretty shade for the summertime. Yeah, that's pretty. I like this color a lot. So one of the things I didn't get was highlighter. I know, it's like one of everybody's favorite things. Mine included, but I didn't get one. So I'm just gonna go in with this Milani Strobe Light highlighter and just, and this is in the shade 01 Afterglow. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyes and I again I already primed them because I didn't buy an eyelid primer and I just put some of that setting powder over them just to keep it from creasing or setting in too much and so again for eyes I have the perfect 10 eyeshadow palette from Soap and Glory and honestly I have not tried really any of their makeup line items I've tried some of their masks which are great I've tried some of their bath bombs which are great but I've never tried some makeup. So when I saw that those were in there, I was intrigued. I thought, you know, this is something different. So let's try it. I mean, it's different. It's here. There's pretty colors that are pretty neutral. And so yeah. And it does have come with a brush, which I just threw off somewhere. And it does come with a mirror here as well. So and I'm just going to start in with Nude Comer right here, which is this pretty kind of pale nude pink. And dust that over my lids. I'm going to go in with Toasty next here, which is just kind of a darker mauve brown color. But I'm also really curious. Um, I've heard really great things about the new Urban Decay um, palette. And I love the colors that they put in there. So I'm really curious about that if you any of you guys have bought that one was it worth it did you like it because i really like the colors in it so with the same brush i'm going to go in next door to damsel right here and pop that into my crease as well There's a little bit of kickback here in the pan, but it's not bad. And these with shadows so far are blending really beautifully. They're pretty darn pigmented. Um, I wouldn't say they're the most 
pigmented shadows I've ever used in my entire life, but they're not bad at all. Then I'm going to go in with Chalky right here, which is this really pretty kind of shimmery brown that almost has like purple undertones to it. And I'm just going to deepen the outer edge here a little bit. And then with a wet flat brush, I'm going to go in with copper right here and just apply that all over my lids. Okay, the shimmer shade is not as pigmented as I was hoping. It's a very pretty shade, but even with it being wet, it's not as much on my brush as I'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger here and just apply it that way. That helps a little bit. Overall, that was actually a really nice palette. Um, the, everything blended really easily and smoothly. Not super crazy pigmented, but enough to get the look that you want to. And it, so if you're looking for um, a palette that's a nude, kind of neutral palette that's not going to be crazy expensive but still be worth your money, that's a good option. So I'm going to move on. So I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And again, I have the Soap and Glory Super Cat liquid eyeliner pen in black. I don't know if I want to do a wing or not, but what do I want to do? I don't know. Probably not. Let's, yeah, probably not. Let's be honest here. I don't really do them very often. That's nice. Wow. It's not bleeding at all. It's really nicely pigmented. What I like is that it's the felt tip of it is stiff enough to where it's going where I want to want it to go and it's going over the glitter and the shimmer very nicely. Okay, so that was actually really nice. Um, I've been using still the Physicians Formula liquid eyeliner for quite some time because that was my favorite. This might surpass it. This is pretty darn good. And it was so easy to use and it went exactly where I wanted it to, which does always happen for me. So it's exciting. That was exciting. Okay. Moving on, um, mascara. So again, I have the number seven Stay Perfect um, Long Lasting Volume Mascara in black. So oh, I can hear how nasally I am when I said that's like black, black. Like I told you, I told you guys, I'm feeling a little quirky today, I'm feeling a little silly. So okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw this wand, I was thinking I'm not gonna like it. It's really short. The bristles are really short and it's really very kind of hard and plasticky. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. And I actually do. I don't know too much about the volumizing aspect of it, but it did a nice job of separating my lashes for the most part. And I think I got the primer, or I know, I know I got my eyeshadow primer a little bit too close to the eyelashes, so they were kind of clumpy already. But it did a nice job of trying to like combat that. So, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I still like the roller lash. I still like the um, Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Um, so I still like those a little bit better, but it's not bad. I'm just gonna go back into my eyeshadow palette here and I'm gonna go back into Toasty right here and just put a little bit of that on my lower lash line. Totally went out of order too. I wasn't even thinking about it. I like put my mascara on. And I was like, oh, well, let me just go ahead and put mascara on my lower lash line, even though I never actually put the eyeshadow down there yet. So that was smart of me. See, people, we all make these mistakes. We're all human. We get talking, we get chit-chatting, getting to know one another, and you just kind of forget what you're doing a little bit. Okay, the last thing I want to do with this palette before I move on is I'm going to go in with Moon Mist right here, and I'm just going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone. Okay, last is lips. And again, that is going to be using the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lipstick. This is in shade 0149, also called Really Rose. So it's a really pretty shade. I'm glad with the one I went with. That's just a very typical me shade. It does have the angled um, applicator, which I really do like because it helps you get into the crevices of your lips doesn't have much of a smell as a slight one, but it's almost like a citrusy. I almost hit my nose right then. 
<laughs> citrusy smell, so which I like. That's really that's really pretty, and it's really pigmented. Yeah, I didn't have to dip back in or anything. That is such a pretty color. It feels nice on my lips so far as it waits to dry down. And it's really, really pigmented. So I'm going to let this dry down a little bit, see just about how long it takes. And then I'll be back to give you guys my final, final thoughts. And okay, guys. So that is it. This is the final look. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I think my favorites, the lip is still drying down a little bit. It's not, a, it's not a quick dry. That was a lie. But I definitely think that that was one of my favorites. I really do like it. It feels very nice on my lips. The color is beautiful. It doesn't feel very like tight on my lips like a lot of times liquid lipsticks can. So I really liked this guy. I also really liked the foundation. Pretty. And I also liked the blush and the bronzer. Um, so those are both wins. And then of course the eyeliner was amazing. The things that I'm kind of like, I, I like I, you can live your life and be totally fine without are um, the eyeshadow palette. I like it. It's not bad, but I, it's not something that I'm like, you have to have go out and buy it. If you like it, I will continue to use it. I have nothing against it. Just wasn't one of my favorite things. The mascara was just okay as well. It wasn't like crazy. Sorry, I have a hair. Don't you hate that? Um, the mascara was okay. It wasn't like crazy awesome. And I think the biggest disappointment, I mean, the setting powder was okay, just the smell. The biggest disappointment, honestly, was the concealer. Um, it just didn't, it didn't conceal shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, it was nice and inexpensive, so that was good, but it doesn't, didn't really do a great job concealing. So that was the only item that I was just really like disappointed on. Everything else I really like. I like the way the look came out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Again, I, I know I kind of like rambled on a little bit, got a little sidetracked, but let me know what you guys think overall in the comment section. If you like this video, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, make sure you subscribe. I've got some new products that I'm going to be testing for you guys. Um, at least some new to me products maybe testing for you guys and some other things um, so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss them but until I get those videos out for you guys thank you so much for watching this one and as always I hope you have a wonderful day bye